that's the fact of life. If you're competing against Miami of Florida, you've got to go for the cream of the crop. If you're competing against Miami of Ohio, you can take a different level of kid. Wow. Hunter. Hunter comes out firing. Hunter comes out firing. I just uh, I don't understand because I never... Yeah, Joe, I'll explain it to you if you don't understand. Well, no, would, you like to, would you like to understand? Oh, I understand. I just don't understand why. Uh, like We never mentioned you know, Marshall or Coach Rodriguez or any of the coaches, and then it just seems like every week there's a new Bob Pruitt quote. I don't understand the propaganda and what the point is. I'll tell you what it is. I'll tell you what it is. What it is is it's called communication denial. And the most frustrating thing that happens when someone will not communicate with you is that you get totally frustrated. When someone doesn't acknowledge you, you become extremely frustrated. And what's happened is that West Virginia is not going to play Marshall, and Marshall continues to try to find some way, it's Bob Pruitt's obsession, to find some way to paint West Virginia in a negative light every time he can. See, now, they were quiet there for a while because they went to Virginia Tech with their greatest team in the history of football, and they got embarrassed and slapped on national TV, and West Virginia goes back down there, and they beat Virginia Tech. So that whole excuse, their whole setup that they were going to beat Virginia Tech and West Virginia was going to lose to Virginia Tech, and so they could say, see, we can beat Virginia Tech, why won't you play? See, that went away. So now they go recruiting, and they get two walk-ons from Morgantown. Two walk-ons from Morgantown, and they get Jeremy Rodimer, and all of a sudden they just recruited Billy Sims, Barry Sanders, and Hartley Dykes all at the same time. And so now this is a big, this is the new angle. Well, now we're going to say that we get the in state players, and Rich now says, and they're putting words in his mouth, that, that it's inferior talent, and we're in the top 25, and why can't you play? See, it's, it's all the same thing. It all comes back to one thing. The thing is, they are dying, dying a slow death wanting to play West Virginia. Dying the death. And it's painful. Because West Virginia says, we're done with you. We're not talking to you. You had your chance. You had your up. chance. Go away. And it's killing them. It's absolutely killing them. Because the run that they've been on will not last. The golden era is about to come to an end. They had an incredible run with Pennington and with Leftwich. That will not continue to last. And now they're just dying. And that's why all this crap just keeps coming up and coming up and coming up. Well, I, I disagree with you. I don't think it's a golden run. I mean, they've played a respect the schedule like a hundred. Well, I understand, but I, yeah, I understand that. I believe me. I know exactly what you're talking about. I'm just saying, and that's that's their big run. They're not. They're going to stop loot. They're going to. They're not going to be as dominant as they have been. They're not going to be as. I'm talking about even in the MAC. They're not going to be as dominant as they have been. So that's that's the frustration, and to put words in Rich's mouth. That's 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 never not said, fair. Uh, we were both there, Tony. He never said the word inferior talent. All he said. No, no, no. They're not saying he said inferior mm -hmm. talent. They're they they're they're taking his uh, quote out of context, and they are saying uh, that they, that he's saying that the state's got inferior talent. Why can't West Virginia just take care of West Virginia? Let Marshall take care of Marshall. It never can happen. It's always got to be they got to jump out on him and say, "Oh, you're what you're." Just leave us alone. Leave us alone. Doing fine without you. 